All right, so what is the class about? Listen, it's an insult to your intelligence for me to sit here and read a goddamn syllabus to you, right? That's, that's ridiculous. That's like, you know, when you take a class in person and a faculty member just reads from slides. It's like, yo, I can read the slides, son. Like, I don't need you to read the slides. Like, you know, give me, give me something, you know? So I'm not gonna read the, the, the course description to you, but basically what this class is about, you know, in, the, in a nutshell, is about ideas and their ideas about ideas and mostly meaning like we kind of ponder like what is a remix you know metaphorically philosoph uh, philosophically you know all those things but also practically you know so like not only what does it mean to be a remix what actually is a remix what is originality all these things but like you know, how does copyright law work? How does fair use work? You know, how, what's the public domain? Um, what is Creative Commons licensing? What is licensing? What is trademark? What does it protect? What is patent? What does it protect? That's kind of like, you know, the practical thing. And I'll talk more about that, you know, um, later in the module and some of the other videos and stuff like that. But, you know, basically we're gonna look at how y'all as students, you know, um, are creators of intellectual properties every day you know, stuff that's copyrightable or maybe trademarkable, you know what I'm saying? And um, also y'all infringe on copyrights and trademarks every day. You just do it, you know? Um, so we'll kind of go over that, you know, and kind of like flush, flush, flesh out all, all this stuff. What does it mean, when, you know, when you can own food, like own how food is made and monopolize how food is made and you know, own seeds, like what does that mean? Or medical procedures or vaccines or whatever it is. Or what, what does it mean to own a font? You know, um, how long when you take a picture uh, on your phone and post it, you know, or, or, you know, on Instagram or your TikTok video, do you own the rights to that? And the answer is yes, you own that shit for your life plus 70 years. Is it economically viable? I don't know. You know, but if it is, you know, you own that for, for a long time and your great grandchildren will, will own that. So you can read through that. You can also read through the expected learning outcomes. Let me just summarize the expected learning outcomes. You're gonna learn some shit. <laughs> you're gonna learn some stuff. You know, I, I guarantee, here's the deal. You probably like don't know why you're in this class or you're here because you need a, you know, an arts and letters or you're here because it's asynchronous and you know, you don't want to, you're zoomed out, you know what I'm saying? Or like you're an athlete and this is just easier for your, your schedules or, or whatever, whatever it is, you know. Um, but, you know, the, the, the curriculum in this class, like, it may be a little boring at times, you know, even when I'm giving fire lectures on my tractor or, you know, whatever, um, you know, but like, it's, it's going to, it's gonna impact you all the time. Like intellectual properties are like, half or more of the United States economy are based on them. It's, it's our largest gross export to the world. Almost 40% of our exports are intellectual properties. And what we make here are our patents, our trademarks, our copyrighted material. That's what we have, is, that's what we create and, and, and pu push out to the world. Um, and in pretty much almost every job that you will have, you will be dealing with these things in some capacity. And you don't even, you won't even know it. So this will really set you up in so many ways, like, oh, like, I wanna start a fashion company or a fashion brand. Well, maybe I shouldn't make my logo look like the Thrasher logo. Duh, you know, but maybe y'all think that's a good thing or like, you know, like, We'll give you a little insight in like maybe you're a tinkerer, inventor, or maybe you're uh, you know, um, a chemistry student or something and like, or you're an engineer and you're inventing shit. Like, well, what, what does that mean? You know, um, or like, what are copyrights? Or like you make beats or you sample art, you make sample based art or you sample and you don't even know it because you're just so influenced by everything that you've been consuming your whole life that you, you make stuff based upon that. Um, you know, but you'll be dealing with this in your, in your future um, intellectual property in, in some way, very directly or in some ways not so directly, but it will affect you, um, you know, in so many ways. Um, just a disclaimer, this is not a law class. This is a legal culture, legal theory, you know, philosophy of law, of culture, of subcultures class. Um, but it's not a law class. Don't take this as legal advice. Uh, you know, intellectual property rights and the laws that, per, you know, protect those rights or create those rights are 
hard to understand, they're a little bit convoluted, and they're never um, bright and clear, meaning like there are law, laws up for interpretation. So if you get sued for something, or a cease and desist letter, or whatever, don't say, well, Andre said, you know, um, take this, what you get in this class, you know, think about it, use it in a way that's valuable to you, um, but don't take it as legal advice, okay? Um, so what's the workload for this class? You know, eat, you basically have two modules per week. They should take you two and a half hours to complete, and that includes watching the videos, doing the quiz, and writing a short under one page response um, to it. And then maybe a couple hours or less per module of reading, watching stuff, listening to podcasts, or whatever that you should do before, um, before class. And um, each module have things to do before module you know, one, or things to do before module 10, and it will be you know, a couple podcasts, or comic books, or whatever, that you should read, or, or look at, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, you know, make you read stuff, but I ask you to read stuff and watch stuff. And an important note is in the quizzes, I do include stuff from the readings and viewings, but it's only stuff I talk about in the lectures. So I won't quiz you on some random shit buried in a chapter. That's like another mean thing that faculty do, and I don't get it. Um, but I won't, I won't do that to you. Um, I'm a little soft about that. So, you know, to have success in this class, weekly, eight hours, roughly, um, there's a final project, you know, that should take you five to eight hours to, you know, complete, you know, from um, conceptualization to execution, r roughly, um, you know, there's, yeah, and so I'll get more into that.